welcome to educator academy so guys in this video i am going to tell you how to make how to write a code in php so if you don't know how to run a code in php then i have been uploaded a video on this so you can watch so let's first of all see the structure of php so this is actually the simple structure of php and you can easily be uh, learned about uh, how to be uh, structured and how to be write how to be printed a line so i am printing a line echo educator academy so this is actually the printing line that i've been written here let me save here and search here zamp and if you don't know uh, how to be download the zamp i've been uh, linked in description so start patch a machine and you can see status chain detected and running it means our program is running correctly and then go toward the google chrome and then search here localhost and then click here so this is actually the program it means our program is working correctly so now go to the url of this website and you know and copy the only the folder name educator academy in this case and let go to the google chrome and uh, in url you just remove the dashboard and then enter the only the uh, folder name and the first file name php and then refresh you can see uh, it will printing it will working now again I want to make some different uh, line so that it will print two line in a new lines so let me I am printing here so for printing in a new line I will use NL2 bar so this is actually the uh, predefined function in PHP so I am printing educator academy and then backslash n and then I subscribe to my channel so this will print uh, educator academy will print in the first line and uh, subscribe to my channel will print in a new second line let me save and then go to the google chrome and then refresh this so you can see educator academy is printing in the first line and subscribe to my channel and printing in second line so this is actually the my simple program and let me if you want to comment in a php let use only double slash it would use as a comment in a php and again uh, if you want to make any variable so you dollar sign and the variable is predefined in php it, so i am taking variable one and let me print out for printing i use echo and then dollar sign that variable that i have declared before and uh, let me save this file and then again go toward the google chrome and then refresh yes you can see one is printing here so our program is working correctly let's make another variable so dollar sign and variable one so it is second variable that i'm declaring and the double comma i'm printing only string educator academy so this is my string that i want to be declared this and then again printing this calling this variable uh, for that purpose i use again echo echo variable dollar sign variable one so I have declared this in a string and then let me save this file and move towards the Google Chrome and then refresh. Now you can see one is my first variable and the educator academy is my second variable. If you want to make them print in a separate line for that I use br. So it will break the line and print both variable in a separate line for that I use br tag and then this is my for first variable as the same I copying this br tag and then paste here for second variable let me save my file again so let me save my file and then again move toward the google chrome and then now refresh you can see one is printing in the first line and educator can do this in a second variable is printing in second line if you want to commit large number code then we don't use slash for that purpose i use only slash static for the start of code and and then again static slash it will commit large number of code okay now we see how will function work in php for that i am declaring my first variable marks is equal to 78 i am declaring function and the function name like i am giving here students and this is how i am declaring my function and let me declare again my variable as i declared outside and inside variable so again marks is equal to 78 this is my inside function variable and now i am printing line for that i use and uh, this marks of the students marks of the students is so this is i'm printing line and let now i'm calling function name so the function name is students so this will call the function okay and then let me print the 
variable that I've declared before echo and the variable name was marks so let there in marks so let me save my file and go to uh, the Google Chrome and then now refresh you can see the function is calling the marks of the student is 78 uh, that I've declared okay and uh, if you can see this is my function and the student's name is my first name of my function and the marks is the variable and if you remove inside function variable let again save my file and see what happened and again go to the google home and now refresh you can see the same is printing here so it means our function is working correctly so guys if you like my video then subscribe my channel for more setup of videos thanks